70% of our planet is covered in ocean, but we know more about what's happening on the surface of the moon than we do about what's happening in the depths of the ocean. It's the final frontier in understanding truly how our Earth works. As an oceanographer, it's really exciting to do research in the Galapagos because this area is so unique. The islands are a major convergence zone of different ocean currents. We consider the Galapagos Islands and the waters surrounding the islands as the front lines of this El Nino event. The Galapagos Archipelago is home to a productive ecosystem where cold, nutrient-rich water basically flows up from the ocean floor, creating an abundant biodiversity. When El Nino comes in, the upwelling of cold, nutrient-rich water actually subsides, which causes a reduction in the amount of nutrients that feeds the entire ecosystem. So we study organisms at the base of the marine food chain, and that's really where the effects of El Nino are felt first. The waters get significantly warmer, and the phytoplankton abundance drop. Phytoplankton are at the base of the food chain, and they are food for smaller fish, which essentially are eaten by larger fish, and so that energy obtained from phytoplankton works its way up the food chain to the larger animals such as the iguanas, penguins, sea lions, and sea turtles. The Galapagos Science Center is very critical to our research as it allows us to go and sample from the environment and bring our samples back to the center where we can process them before transporting to UNC. While the majority of our planet is ocean, we typically only interact with a very small fraction of it. So to be able to spend weeks immersed in oceanographic research in a remote, unique environment is just a really phenomenal opportunity to better understand how the ocean shapes our world.